likewise the other archangels. Many of you have Raphael, Gabriel and Uriel as your master. No, they are not commanders like me. But they also have a protective function, a little greater than the others. Because we are energy, we are not incarnated, nor were we incarnated, nor do we have fractals. Now it is very important, that it is very clear here, that I do not want anyone to have superiority over the other. Be careful with feelings, ah, my master is better than yours. No one is better than anyone. So think the other way. Think that that soul that has an ascended master different from us, doesn't have risky missions, doesn't run the risk of dying. Because I already said that a soul dies. Yes, a soul can die. Others run this risk every day. So where is the pride? Where is the pride in feeling better than someone else? This doesn't exist. So the spiritual master's definition of each soul has to do with its function, with what it will fulfill as a soul's objective, and when that soul incarnates, it gets a new date, a date of incarnation and the master remains the same, regardless of the date. Then many will say, ah, but I did the math and it matched my master's damn thing. Yes, it can happen. Let's say instead of you seeing as concentric rays, you see as pieces of a pie. But not with the tip in the center. Imagine the planet and the pieces beyond the planet, divide that into seven. So within your timeline, that ray is acting on that day. But nothing prevents a soul from being born, in another ray different from the master. Nothing prevents. It all depends on the conjunctions that are active at the moment. So who defines the spiritual master? That's when his soul and what your soul was born for. Not the day of your birth, here in this incarnation. Because it is not you incarnating that will change your master. He is the master of your soul. So it doesn't matter, when you incarnated here in this dimension, the master doesn't change because of that. So many are having difficulty accepting other masters, because they keep thinking, ah, no, it can't be this one because it's outside my birth date. You were only born here this time, right? And the other incarnations? Were you always born on the same day? Now my brothers, let's stop thinking about the box. What defines the master is not the date of birth of this incarnation, may or may not coincide. So what's the point of this ray tour? It is to show each one of you the power of each ray. So understand, you have a master, for example, I will give myself as an example, you have me as a master, so I'm from the blue ray, you are from the blue ray. Very good. Can't you travel through the pink radius? Oh no. I'm from the blue ray, I can't walk on the pink ray. Why not? Do you have to knock on the door and ask to come in? This doesn't exist. What are the colors? They are the different frequencies of light, which come from the Sunday. They vibrate in different ways, then they are exposed in different colors. But you can move through all colors. So this is what we will do, we will walk over each ray. And what is the purpose of this? Very good. You know that the green ray is the ray of healing? Hylorion, is the master of this ray. You are sick. Ah, but my master of the blue lightning. And what's wrong with you guys going into Hylorion's house and asking him for help? What's the problem? The doors are always open. So this is exactly the walk we will take along the seven rays. Each one with their specific meditation, so that you can, at the moment of need, do that meditation, and wrap yourself in that ray receive that frequency, receive that help. And again, I don't want global meditations, I don't want group meditations. Did you understand? Everyone will do their own. So I'm going to make it clear here why I don't want global meditations, where there are a lot of people together. Why? My brothers, the journey is becoming more difficult. And at every moment, each of you has to find your own strength. Don't lean on someone else's cane. If I say to you, everyone do it together, what happens? Many will hold that meditation, and others will participate thinking about lunch the next day, because I'm participating, so it's okay. 
I am also receiving the lightning. Because you're counting on others. So my brothers, from now on, it's every man for himself. You no longer have a friend to carry you by the hand. It's every man for himself. Then everyone will come in and do their meditation. I'm already hearing a lot of people saying, Ah, but I don't know how to meditate. If in all this time that I have been telling you to learn, you still haven't learned, then you have a very serious problem. Because I'm not saying this today. Much has already been said here about meditation. And you keep repeating that you can't meditate? Yes, while you repeat this, the universe is really understanding that it is a decree. And you won't make it. The attitude is, I will be able to meditate. It'll do. Very good. So show the universe that you are ready to do it. Master your mind. My brothers, the journey is getting more difficult, if you can't control your mind in meditation, things are getting complex. Then you will be the ones who let your surroundings carry you away. The surroundings will fall and you will be on top of your building, and you will not be able to stand, because you will be more worried about seeing the surroundings falling than believing that you will be kept upright. Your soul is strong, but as long as you believe in it. I have said this many times. Your surroundings will fall and you are on top of that building. And you will say, I will land on my feet. And your building may even fall and you will land on your feet. Now this will depend a lot on your faith. Whoever has faith will land on their feet. You may have a scraped knee, a scraped elbow, but you will land on your feet. Nothing will happen to you. Now whoever gets worried, oh my god, the surroundings are falling, you will fall with him and I will not guarantee your survival, because you were afraid, you were not able to hold your mind. So for those who continue to claim that they cannot meditate, you are very late. Because you're going to need it. So what do you answer me? Are you going to start today? I hope so. So this excuse that I can't meditate for me. I'm not listening to anything. You have been sufficiently warned. From now on, every day will be different. And the tendency is for things to get worse and worse. Where is the faith, where is the belief that we are all there by your side and nothing will happen to you? You will be put to the test, all of you. Just saying, I believe, is very easy, it's two words. Now trust. Ah, it has another meaning. When you say, I trust, oops. Then the energy is different. Believing is easy, now trust. I trust that my master will protect me. And if you surrender, you will be protected. Just believing is very little. You have to trust. So this story about I can't meditate doesn't fit here anymore. I'm sorry, if you still have this problem, you have a serious problem. So. Quicken your pace. So like I said, it's every man for himself. If you were all together in the same physical location, then I would say, you will help each other, but you are not. Everyone is at a different point on the planet, so it's every man for himself. You have to learn to fend for yourself. No one here is a child, to have mom and dad, one on each side of your body, holding your little hand. You are very big and very adults. So act like it. So from Wednesday, we will start the walk through the rays. Be ready, as it will be a very interesting journey. And I'm sure that each of you will understand a little better what exactly rays are. And when passing through the last ray, which is violet, and returning to the starting point, which is blue, because it's not a line, you're in a circle. So violet borders blue you will see that in fact everything is one thing. It is a mix of love, fraternity, hope, faith, courage, strength and lots of light. Nothing more than that. So wait. I ask each of you to have paper and pencil during meditation. Have a paper and pencil. No, you don't need to buy a notebook. It's a sheet of paper and pencil. On Wednesday, you will know what for. I am Archangel Michael. I am with each of you. Even if I am not your spiritual master. 
whoever trusts me has my spark inside their chest, giving them courage and strength to continue this journey forward.